you, do you know what I feel is like it's different as well? I think like when man first started out, I think like everybody before you could it don't it didn't I don't I think them day they didn't matter how good you was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like man just genuinely wanted to know do you live what you talk yeah, about? Yeah, the <laughs> do you get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Before man's taking you in, before man even wanna hear if you're good. Man wanna certain, know, yeah. yeah, yeah man yeah, do yeah. their research, they wanna phone man in the hood, like who's there's, there's my man? A lot of men that got a pass for shit music because they were real. For sure. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So like I think in in that day it was that kind of culture. Yeah. yeah I yeah. feel like now I don't think Anyone people really care about if you are that person anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is it recording? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, bless no, no, no. no. Oh, oh, yeah, we'll just cut it out. What's happening, people? Welcome to another episode of the Free Shot Tequila podcast with myself, Marvin Abbey. Who's he got in the studio? Mr. Exposed. Taze ain't here. The first time ever. Allah. <laughs> um, no Taser Black. So he can't say that now, because that was his claim to fame before. Yeah. I've never missed the episode. Brother, you missed one now, bro. I mean, caught good an STD well. and he can't be here today. You know what I mean? He's on his antibiotics. So if you're listening it, to this. He ain't started yet. <laughs> what? He ain't started his antibiotics. Yeah, he don't, I don't think he knew he was ill. He I didn't hear he what just, I said. That's cool. Oh, that what you're, <laughs> is that what you're saying? The man's on... <laughs> Azithromycin. The man got shot. <laughs> oh, raw. <laughs> raw. <laughs> Um, anyway, you know what? <laughs> I ain't saying that. We've got a very, very special guest, an interview that highly anticipated. Um, could you just get your name, brother, and where you're from? Yo, you don't know, it's your boy K. Colt. Come on. Busy's finest, Northwest in the building. Oy. Come on. So you were on before when we had um, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Yeah, um, the jungle. jungle. The jungle. Yeah, yeah. But we couldn't really get into a convo because it was more about jungle, show. the yeah. show, and whatever, whatever. Um, you're like a public figure within the UK that was like the first to do a few things. Yeah. And was like a name like that people were... Name it, brand. Name, yeah, the name brand. As mm -hmm. in like crossed over areas, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just wanted to speak about that. Like, I appreciate you know what I'm that, saying? Guys, Even yeah. the fire in the booth. Yeah, yeah. Was a mad one as well. So... Yeah, when you think of names of, you know, when you think of kind of UK music, essentially. It's UK rap. Yeah, UK mm. rap. Like, that's definitely one of those names that, you know what I mean? You can't have a conversation. You can't have that conversation with that that name kind of popping up. For sure. Where you're discussing, you know what I mean, the legends, essentially. Nah, I appreciate that, man. It so means what, a lot. So where did it start? I think in terms of, how, why did you become a, why did you want to become a rapper? Like, where were you from? Because, yeah, like, yeah. remember, I'm from East. Yeah. And we heard of Stonebridge. From east, yeah, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Which means that the name rang out of the area. If that makes yeah, sense. so for sure, like blood, I started rapping late. To be fair, you know the streets had man before I was rapping, and um, you know when when the um I first started seeing like uh, I think it was like PDC and then man there. Yeah, I think I when they first started releasing songs, and man was watching their thing, and I was thinking, yo, like you that's this. man's thing as well. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying, like. And obviously, man fell in love with hip hop because they they spoke man's life that that man was living. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't even. It wasn't a thing where like it was premeditated. It was all by accident. The man them just went and made a song. They brought it back, a Stonebridge song. Yeah. I was supposed to go to the studio that day. I didn't even <laughs> go, but they brought back the Stonebridge song. And then when I heard it, I was like, Nah, I'm going next one. You get me? And then next one, next one, next one. And then yeah, that's how it came about. You what, get me? When there rap, was there was there like rap around you? Or was it you were like one of the first people to say, Do you know, what, I'm gonna take this seriously? Yeah, there there was kind of rap around, man. Still, one my brethren's EXO, yeah. he was like rapping from secondary school. Okay. He was part he was part of USG as well. Um, he wasn't from Bridge, but we went to the same school together. He was in the same class from year seven. He kind of grew up in like Kensal Green kind of way, but he was always with man. But he was genuinely rapping like Channel U days, videos, everything. So he was doing his thing, but. Like, man didn't think it was for man kind of thing, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah, it was only till that Stonebridge tune come back to the man that I w genuinely wanted to do it, you get me? I need this. Were you good at first, though? Because whenever I hear about rappers saying they were rappers, yeah, I always think to myself, like, when you start, you can't be good, good. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like man would just say, yeah, man's been rapping since I was four. Like, no, stop lying, <laughs> bro, you ain't, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is? You see, like, my yard, yeah, in Bridge, like, my yard was the yard everyone used to go to. I, like, me and my brother had decks, big Holy speakers. Like, oh, but when okay. I'm talking about, I'm talking about big speakers in my little bedroom <laughs> and that, like, 
some sound system thing, you get me? And like everyone would be in my yard, but we used to mix house and garage on that. Oh, like, obviously, man would do the little MC and thing on that, you get what I'm saying? This is before grime was even invented. Man was doing that, you know what I'm saying? And it was like a. But it's like the hip hop thing was more for man because of man's lifestyle yeah, and, yeah. and the way man was living, you get me? Do you know what's interesting here yeah, that you said that the garage thing? I think that it's like. That might be the genre, although I think grime is maybe the kind of not most successful genre, but one of the most successful genres for bringing people out. It's like garage influenced everyone. Hundred percent. So Gig said the same thing that used to um, listen to. I mean, used to be a, like a DJ and like garage. Mm -hmm. You've said it. There's bare other man that have said like they. I think Dizzy said he started with garage. There's bare man that started yeah. in garage. Car, before bro. before UK hip hop and grime, yeah. it was garage yeah, yeah. or jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man liked jungle and the, I even liked drum and bass. Like uh, that was man's getaway to, you know, when we was involved in the street stuff and that the only time we could go out and enjoy ourselves was to go where the street party. stuff's not really happening. You know what I'm saying? So that was man's little getaway and that. But garage is what man grew up on. You know what I'm saying? That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, you know what I mean, if that's what kind of was popping. But there weren't the really no solid UK hip-hop. Like, it wasn't that big in the, them days there at all. It weren't, like, something you knew about. Do you know what I'm saying? Hip-hop or the garage? Hip-hop. Hip -hop. Okay. So, but garage was a thing where you, any club you went to, they're playing, playing garage. It. You know, the problem, I think, with hip-hop in the UK was that a lot of the UK artists that used to do hip-hop in those days... Had American accents. Yeah, were mad <laughs> influenced by, like, Americans. So... We would we would rather listen to the actual Americans than listen to a UK man sounding American. One hundred percent. But even like when the suspect gang thing, so like most of my bridgings from Bridge, yeah. like like half of the there was like thirty of us rapping. You get me? But <laughs> half of them had American accents. <laughs> you know, like we used to cuss man and that. Like bloody, you can't be talking like that. You know what I'm saying? You can't be putting on the accent. <laughs> stop rapping, and then now you're talking English. You know what I'm saying with the English accent? But I think Northwest, was, you, you got like a different lingo up there. Like I think that. Like, yeah, we like heavily Precinct. yard, he heavily yard yeah. influenced. Do you get me? Bear yardies and so our thing was like, yeah, I heavily. There's some, there's, there's, like I've, I always joke, there's certain parts of um, Northwest where I feel like some of them man they think they're in Connecticut, bro. You know what I mean, bro? You speak to them man, like, well, where do you think this is essentially? Because that's you know we always banter. Like I think when you were here the last time we were talking about even with word like precinct and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was like, who's why? Yeah, you know what I mean? But then again, everywhere has I'd say their influences from somewhere. For yeah. sure. Essentially like, like, where does this come from? Or why do we speak like this? Or why do we pick this? Because like I said, East London, I told you, East, you man used to use words like shines. Like yeah, that yeah. was very popular over there. Shiner, so us, shiners, literally yeah. like, you know Shiners. Yeah. yeah. Shiners. But like, like you a, know what I mean? A, a, a blowers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that was yeah. more of an East I heard that as well. That was like a back in the day thing yeah. as well. Yeah. But yeah. that shiners. kind of came from East. So that was more of an East like that. More, there was more, it was Bro, better, Bynes, the one I heard was, well, you man had Shines and then you had Bynes as well. I was like, so what's wrong with the other word? Why did you have to have the same variation of the same fucking word? You know I mean? It's mad how this words is even like came about. Who starts it? Yeah, yeah. Like, it takes us one man to say something that catches ca in a, a few man things yeah. out the blue. Now everyone's saying. But it. you know how it works. There's certain words you're like when people start saying stuff. You're like, I never say that. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you one word. You know, crud. When that word came crud. out years ago, I was like, I'm not saying that. You know, you're like yeah. not saying that because that's about ten years or ten years or less. Mm. So when the kids started saying that, you're like, I'm not saying that. And next thing you know, you're like, that's in your vocabulary, and you don't even know how that. Go in there. It's like words like drip. Where'd that come from? If you think about it, mm. that's I lost think that years. was like a more of an American thing, and mm. it the drip thing. And yeah. it came, you know what I mean? It kind of just trickles down, and you know, well, what I mean? a, a lot of the, a lot of the English cultures come from over there as well. Obviously, we have we got the heavy yard influence, yeah, yeah. but we a lot of us are indulged in the hip hop culture, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is mm -hmm. predominantly from the states. You get me? Yeah. But I think with with Northwest now, I'm thinking about it. You said you've got like a heavy yard influence, mm. and yard has got. An American influence as well. It's weird. It's like although they've got their own culture, yeah, they look over to America as well. Like, well is, is I, do you American know what? Yeah, I think that um, Jamaicans and like reggae and that influenced the whole world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. personally, like I think a lot of a big yeah. uh, culture that has come from over there. Mm. You get yeah. me? That's like, even the way the man them dress on that from like in Bridge, everyone's loud, like super loud. Mm. Like you get me? That's a yard man thing. Yeah. Northwest, to be fair, use up were like when it, it's weird. It's like when it comes to drip, there's certain areas that can dress and whatever. 
are known for stuff like you man over there had grills early. Yeah. Naf and them man there, like, yeah, they yeah, was the, doing it before, the, the, before the, everything. Well, even not even just the early. trainers. Northwest is still the area that still does it the most. I feel like in other kind of parts of London, it was more of a trend. Yeah, yeah. But Northwest, it was like, this is our thing. Where, where? So when the trend came in and came out of certain areas, in Northwest, it's just stayed. So yeah, for yeah. Northwest, man, it wasn't like, hey, this is just the trend. It's This is something that we do, yeah, essentially. Because yeah. till now, they still do it. Even when I look at um, Taser's brother's, um, what do you call it? Jewelry, Jewelry place. Yeah. Most of the people that get grills, you know, when you check it, mostly Northwest. Yeah. Just Northwest. Even Northwest. like double denim and that. I've, yeah. been, I've been rocking double denim for decades. You get me? Uh, bro, so you're rocking it when it was in? Yeah, <laughs> you're still rocking it. I'm still rocking it. And that's back in again. Yeah, so yeah, you're, yeah. You're all right, still. <laughs> <laughs> I see it come, go, and come again. You know what I mean? It's not like Jada Kiss. Jean jacket with the sleeves cut. With, no. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's that like? The, the vest thing with no <laughs> sleeves, yeah, that's wild. <laughs> that's wild. With no sleeves, but that know? one's it's problem when like you wear them things and the body's higgy as well because it just looks <laughs> mad. Like when man wears double denim with sleeves cut and then the physique's mad. It just yeah. looks like what's man dealing with, bro? Like allow it, man. To get me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bad stuff. Oh, uh, but yeah, why do you man say bangs though? We need to get. We need to get. Nah, to I, the I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't say it, bro. I don't. You know, I just think it's a case of something rhymes, so you just like. Shine, but you went had shines already. <laughs> but I think it's like sometimes you know that like when you're like might, might be like, that's the older generation's word. Mm. We're the new gen. We're gonna change the word. Like it's just you know the, the, the young gen. You hear them saying certain things. You're like, what? Like, you know, what I mean? feel like though. I feel like man's vocabulary as well and the way we spoke probably made man stand out a little bit more. Yeah. Cause we did speak different to a, yeah, a lot different. of London. Yep. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I remember we used to rap about pagans and that, and people used to ask, man, what does pagan mean? Like, people genuinely didn't even know for long. You get me? Now yeah. it's a, an it's official thing. thing. You get what I'm saying? Even when Taser talk about chickens, you know, like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. you man talk about women, Ooh. man say chickens. I was like... Yeah, when he dropped that, man was baffed, bro. Because we were like chickens. Because when he said that, I was like, it's weird as well. Because like South Utes and well, certain South Utes, certain parts of like South East and East London, yeah. you lot are proper like Cockney ish. Yeah. Ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, you lot yeah. got a more of a Cockney so yeah, tang to yeah, yeah, yeah. to your lot's thing. Like we're like really heavily yard influenced. You get? But it's me? weird though because in East, East very Cockney. East is very Cockney. Yeah, hundred percent. East is Cockney. But then South, some of South East is like just nearer to the tunnel, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. Like either rather have like Bermondsey, yeah, um, Surrey Keys. Most that's very easty. Very, it's still, yeah. still South, but it's kind of easty. East yeah, it's like yeah. South East. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah. obviously Blackpool Tunnel, you got the Greenwich and whatever. But then when you go to like Lewisham, Brixton, Catford, Brixton, Peckham, Peckham all changes. The Cockney changes. disappears, bro. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, you ain't gonna hear none of that. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. It's like within areas you got pockets of language. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. But yeah, it's, it's interesting now that you say that still. Yeah, because I grew up in Thornton Heath and it was, you know what I mean, totally different from everywhere else. Mm. You, know, you speak to people from, and bear in mind, so for me, it was, it was, I'd guess, a culture shock essentially where, so I was, you know what I mean, I've moved here to this country when I was 14, moved to London when I was 16. So I was like, oh, everyone sounds like this. Yeah. And then I've gone somewhere else and be like, okay, yeah. everyone sounds like something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gone somewhere else and like, everybody sounds like something Bro, else. Yeah, I will mad. never forget, I was a middles, bro. So I've moved from Zimbabwe. Bear in mind, I'm fresh. So I'm not understanding. So this, this, you know what I mean? Um, it's older white guys chilling or whatever. So he's greeting me, man said, easy. So I'm looking at a man like, I don't know what you're on about. Yeah. So he's looking at me, he's like, easy, the <laughs> fucking easy. So he's looking at me like, you know what I mean? Like you're, he's like, you're being a dickhead right now. So he's looking at me like, I'm not trying to greet him. Yeah. But I'm looking at a man like, what are you on about? But Cause at the time of it, I was like, what does that even mean? So I'm looking around, so my cousin had to explain it after he's like, easy, man's greeting you. I was like, so why didn't he say that? The whole time I'm sitting there, bro, thinking. People don't realize that culture, when you're within it, you understand it completely. Yeah, well, for because sure. When you're not in it, because it's you're in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. When you're not in it and you look, you sit back, like for example, Northwest, growing up, I could count the amount of times I went to Northwest on one hand. I never needed to go to, I think yeah, I went yeah. to like a party in Kilburn once. Um, and maybe I might have gone to Tudor Rose. Yeah, once. Tudor Rose. Like, that day. But apart from that, whereas, and I feel like Northwest, you sort of your own communities. Yeah, like yeah. A lot of my Northwest will stay in. Yeah, we didn't really. I yeah. growing up, I didn't leave too much. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
I just about left Bridge. But Bridge was like one, like it was like a little city. You get what I'm saying? Where the it was blocks, massive though. Yeah, it was big and all the blocks joined together. So it was like a lot was going on there. And a lot of people from outside the bridge will be in bridge. Inside. You get so what you I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, we're just it, we're there majority of the time. It must have been sick. Like, in a weird way, uh, I'm going to ask you how it was growing up there, but yeah. it must have been sick at the same time because it's kind of like, imagine like living in like a massive block that goes on for miles, yeah? And there's bare man in there, bare your brethren, whatever. Like, so on the, if you, like, when you're younger and you want to play out or whatever, everyone's there, yeah, bro. Blood, you know don't, like, bro, Stonebridge was a greasy place. It was super rough, but we grew up there. So it, it wasn't that bad to man. Do you get what I'm saying? But we had, like, my my childhood was sick growing up. Like, in terms of fun and yeah, yeah. playing out and doing crazy shit with the man there, man. It was sick, bro. So you when, get me? When did that change, though, in terms of... Because remember, you're, you're saying as a young kid, it was sick growing up in yeah. Stonebridge, whatever. Nah, nah, don't. But, like, like the fuckery when... was always around, man, growing up. Like, I remember when I was, like... I could have been, like, seven or something, driving, riding my pedal bike to the shop for my mum. Yeah. I seen a man chalked out on the floor because he got dashed off the thirteenth floor. Jesus. Like that, those kind of things were a regular occurrence. Gunshot outside your window. You're just looking at man scattering everywhere. Like I, I remember, even a Fed got shot outside my block. Seriously? You get me? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. The yardies were having mad gang wars outside my yard when I was a kid, and that. So all of that stuff was was normal to man. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, we're outside playing as kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And, so, and so your norm just became. That became your norm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Even though it wasn't normal. For sure. But you, but but you don't even know that it's not normal until you grow up and actually leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go to other places and then you're thinking, raw, like, the stuff that man thinks normal is actually not normal. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying, dog? And for, you know, people on the outside, again, so I think for you guys, you were in it and then you would go outside. Yeah, so yeah. I came from outside in yeah. so it was literally like oh fuck that's you know all, I mean? yeah, it's a whole different thing wild, well. bro. i think i told you man i moved to so i moved from middle so i moved from zimbabwe to the uk i've gone to live in middlesbrough for a couple of years so bear in mind i'm the middle of nowhere yeah so yeah from middlesbrough i've moved to thornton heath so six months <laughs> into living in thornton heath my parents were like oh we're going to peckham I was like, <laughs> and bear in mind, these times, you know what I mean, what ends you're from was very important. For so sure. for me, literally, it's like, whoa, 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 you can't just say we're going to Peckham. So in the six months, we then lived in Peckham before we came back to Heathrow. Mm. My job was to go to college and get back home. Safely. Safely. <laughs> no, literally, that's what it is. You know what I mean? That journey, you know what I mean? And from the bus stop back to the crib or whatever was that, you know what I mean? It's little game, bro. You're like, cool, I need to avoid being seen by anyone in this area. Cause you know what I mean? You're like, eventually that question is gonna come. You know what I mean? Cause Ooh. you know, and you know, when you live in an area for long enough, you can tell who's not from around there essentially, mm. whether it's the mannerisms, whether the way it's the way someone moves or mm. you've just never seen them. You've never seen them. Yeah, you know, man's outside every day. So any any face, new face pops up. We know you're not around here. You exactly. get from around here. We were just, I was just lucky that it wasn't, you know what I mean? Kind of living on a block. Cause when you come on a block, Everybody knows mm. everyone. So that's one of those things that it's difficult to, you know what I mean, to kind of assimilate into a block when nobody knows you, essentially, because yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody knows you, you know what I mean? You weren't here yesterday, yeah, or yeah. you've not been here, whatever. Yeah, you can't just roll up and nobody yeah, yeah. notices, essentially. If it's a yard or whatever, you can sneak in and out. Nobody sees you, you know what I mean? Because that's one of those things you don't notice. But well, it's like everyone knows everyone's business on the block as well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Literally. Like, if you move in on the block... We know that oh, you, uh, there's just a new you that just moved in over there. You get yeah. me? He's either gonna you're gonna end up being cool. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're on the block with the man. Them yeah. we're gonna see you every day. Yeah. So you know, my this thing is like I, was, I think I talked to someone about this the other day, and we were saying that like you know that how the the media and um, just try and paint out like for example they will paint out like Stonebridge, all you men are a gang. Yeah. And it's and it's weird because it's like some men are in gang activity. But some man just know people who are in gangs. Bro, I, so, bro, you know we saying? didn't grow up as gang members. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, all yeah. brethren's. Like, we know everybody's mums yeah. and everybody's mums knows everybody. We all grew up together as kids. Yeah, we yeah. all went to the same school. You get what I'm saying? It's the outside world start to call you a gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start to carry it, innit? Fuck it. Like, we didn't get into... Yo, we're gang. Yeah, you look. Yeah. They all done it to us. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, I remember one year. Yeah, I swear it was. It was just before carnival, and the newspapers they fucking they put every gang and 
ends in the newspaper. What, the, by name? Like, yeah, the oh, name of the gang in the newspaper. And this was just before, this is when flagging start, first come, come around in England. This is when everyone started flagging. I'll never forget it. I remember we was looking in the newspaper, like our names there, man that we don't deal with names are in there. But it was all over London, East, North, like every gang in every ends was in this newspaper. They literally named everyone and they gave they gave everyone a platform, you know what I'm saying? Like, and and, that, and, and I'll never forget that same carnival everyone was flagging. They are seen yellow bandanas, green ones, blue ones, red ones. Because in a sense, it glamorizes yeah, it, you know, yeah, when they yeah, make yeah. it a certain thing. Well, man, are seeing their thing on there. They, they, they want to like, go and represent now. Carnival's here, you get what I'm saying? Imagine, imagine you're not on there, though. <laughs> no, no, bro, you know Rollo. Man said, nah, man, ain't, well, that's my name greasy enough. What, why did they make the paper? Bro, you know the, Rollo, Rollo from America. Um, He what, got, you know Rollo? Rollo. Rollo, R-A-L-O, Rollo. No, no. I mean, he's one of them Atlanta guys, you know what I mean? He 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 was he'd, he'd post up pictures and he's on a private jet and like a million. Yeah. He'd be sitting with a million or whatever. So he got nicked a couple of years ago, you know what I mean? Drug dealing and this and this and this. So with Rollo, if you go back and you look at his life and the way he was living, yeah? So I think they got labeled, you know, as one of the, I think the biggest gang or something gang, bro. Man went out there, cut out the newspaper article, man posted up on his gram and he was like, yeah, celebrating. You know what I mean? He says, we're the biggest. He even says so in the paper. Mm. And you're like, bro, like in certain places, they live for it. Yeah, so you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. where, you know, where you're like, they can speak certain things into, not even into existence, but you can kind of perpetuate more of something yeah. essentially because people are like oh we like that yeah we want to be you more know what though I, like growing up here being from bridge and that because obviously i went to school in like um wembley yeah. so I, my primary school was in bridge yeah. but like i went to a secondary school in wembley but majority of my my estate went to that school do you know what i'm saying but it was yeah. there was people from different areas but i noticed there yeah, when you told people you was from stonebridge people dealt with you different even the teachers like raw like you're from Stonebridge, like, you get me? Like, what's it like down there? We heard it's really, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like so man always had a mentality, like, where man's from is different to everywhere yeah. else. Yeah. But I think, Do you I get think, what I'm saying? I think it's kind of like when you hear Brixton or when you hear Peckham or whatever, everyone moves like, these are people like my cousins from Brixton. Yeah, so what well, we had that growing up, do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when, when those things are, are coming around, we just automatically feel like we're there. You yeah, get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I, think, I think there was like a, and notoriety. And yeah, notoriety to Stonebridge. Like, as in, even if you weren't from the area, you heard about it. Mm. Now, for example, I would hear about Northwest in general, but I would hear about Stonebridge. Like, Hackney, you might have heard of, like, Pembury, or you might have heard of Kingsby. There's certain uh, fields or um, Holly Street. There's certain parts of East that you would have heard about. Mm -hmm. So Stonebridge is one of those areas. But it must be mad, though. Teachers start grading man differently, though. Yeah. Say, right, yeah. A, a C, where are you from? Oh, we're just, we're giving a B still. I don't want no trouble. Man, it's not even a joke, dog. I swear. It used to make man think, fuck it, no. Like, and you know, as a youth, you don't really understand yeah, too yeah, much. You, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I was going to say in terms of, so, like, me growing up, I grew up in East, but I went to school in South East. And my school was like... Bear ghetto boys went to my school. Mm -hmm. So I used to hang around a lot of ghetto boys, but I wasn't in a gang. Mm -hmm. But I just knew them. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, the way people speak about stuff now, if police were to pull me, I'm a gang member. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm not, I just know them. Man, yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. like the way they group. Like, obviously there are men that are doing what they're doing. Yeah, but they, yeah. they group any group of black boys together as these are all gang. Yeah, all, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what I don't really like. Do you know what I'm saying? Because as you said, obviously certain men in your block would have been doing bad things. Certain man would have been under glamorizing the gangs in cool, but certain man would have just been. It's safer to be with the man. You wouldn't mind them anyway. Yeah. But it's also safer to be with the man them anyway because the protection in numbers. So I'm here in it. Yeah. You know, like growing up, I was never like a bad you. Like I was never like a troublemaker or nothing. Do you get what I'm saying? I. But like people would think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Just because of who you're affiliated with yeah. or where you're from. Yeah. So. So let's go. Let's go on to the deal. So how did how did that come about? With like in terms of because it was like the Rock Nation thing. I remember like hearing about that and you signing for Rock Nation. Mm. Then obviously what transpired afterwards. So yeah, just talk us through that. Um, yeah. So I think by the time the deal came around, I was like probably one of the hottest rappers in the UK. I had the, the Pure Cult Volume One just fucked up the whole road in it. Are you alone, fam? Obviously, the, spot, the the story behind Spider and and how that was such a big thing in the newspapers and how big that situation was. 
kind of just solidified man's like everything that man was talking about and everything that man's coming from and representing. Do you get was that, me? Was that Stitch tune. Yeah, yeah, are you alone, fam? Yeah, the yeah, Stitch tune. I saw the video. I remember that video. Yeah, so obviously after that tune there and then Pure Cult Volume One, yeah, I think just changed the game. You get me? And um, that's when the, the Charlie called man in for the fire in the booth. And um, I think after the fire in the booth is is when the Rock Nation deal came about. Did you write, did you write for that fire in the booth in terms of was it like an old lyric or yeah like, they were old lyrics so it weren't like something I'm going to write yo I'm, I'm thinking you know man just put on beats and rap those days it's not yeah, like yeah, a yeah. something I need to write Prepare for, for or yeah. yeah blood I went in there liquored up in that you get me I, <laughs> I, I had a KFC cup there's bare liquor in that cup because they wouldn't <laughs> let me take the bottle in you get me so it was just man was having fun dog it weren't like a, a nothing that was thought about or. It, mine was just in man's zone. You That's get one me? of the earliest fire in the booths that I can remember. Yeah, I think I was like the fifth one to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and that's why it was Sig as well, because <coughs> it was an early one, but it's one that people still remember to today. Like, that's one of my... That that one, Kano's one, Wretch's one, Bugsy, a couple other people, but that those are like the standout ones. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because you were going for time as well. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm, Those times, they weren't even a limit on it. You get me? I was just rapid. You had to cut it. But even after it cut, we were still going. You know what I'm saying? So it weren't well, even nowadays, a thing like that. Nowadays, you know, it's a bit more polished. It has to be like But this, this what I'm saying. Like I, feel, I feel like my fire in the booth made it where it was a thing you had to go and do. And now everyone's trying to outdo yeah, the one that, the one before, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's weird, though, because when your fire in the booth came out, afterwards, I didn't see anyone trying to outdo you because... I think people were just trying to get on fire in the booth now. And yeah, it's yeah. kind of like, oh, we want to be on this platform. But like years into it now, you see like Wretch battling Kano, like mm. Gets battling. See what I'm saying? But when you've done it, I think it's just a case of... Yeah, now my thing was raining there. for too long, innit? I That's feel it. like... And then, yeah, obviously the back of the fire in the booth is, is how the, the whole Rock Nation thing came about. Obviously, I was fucking... I was walking in and out of every record label yeah. in, in Kensington. It was all trying to sign me, but no one didn't know what to do with me. Everyone's they everyone's interested, but no one don't know what to what do kind of things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Were they scared because of where you're from? Hundred percent, bro. Come on, At those days there, it's not like how it is now. Mm. Like gangster rap weren't even playing on the radio. You'd be lucky yeah. to, to like that. Something. Fire in the booth was my first time on radio, uh, ever. Yeah. Like proper radio, that was my first time. Do you get what I'm saying? So it wasn't allowed those days, you know what I'm saying? So it was different. They didn't know what to do with man. But everyone was interested. Do you get me? And then yeah. I had a situation with um Naughty Boy and Emily Sunday's managers. We was going back and forth. And while that was happening, Shabs came to me with the Rock Nation thing. You get me? And was like, yo. He put me on the phone to Tai Tai. And Tai Tai was just telling me not to sign that and wait till he comes over. So I was like, cool. Waited, he came over, and yeah, we just made it happen, man. And for those times, a Jay Z deal, UK hip hop was mm. yes, that's you know what I'm saying. Heard of. But I'm, I remember them days. Man didn't even social media wasn't even around. Didn't nah, them, not like, like how it is now. But everyone heard <laughs> yeah. somehow, whether you listened to rap or you didn't. And I think in those days as well, I feel like now is a bit different with UK rap. Like we don't need Americans. Yeah. Whereas in those days, the American co-sign was huge, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, the Americans fucking with you. Yeah, yo, yeah. yo, you must be... So, so a lot of people, like, who didn't know who you were, stood up, like, to say, oh, who is this guy? Because if Jay-Z's... Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. You know what you were talking about? Um, back then, I guess it, it was different to how it is now, and I guess the labels were a bit more shook. 100%. Now. But I'd say now, bro, it's even wilder now, because, you know what I mean? You see or you hear of these dudes now just busting each other's heads at the record label. Mm. You know, when I hear stuff like this, just the other day, bro, I'm hearing this person bust this head or they you know bust each other. Right they... now, like, the streets are in the industry. Yeah. yeah. Like, those days, it was rare. But yeah. right now... They're deep in it. it. Yeah, the streets are in the industry. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, you're, it'll, it'll be rare to buck a, a, a road man at a... Record at a, at a, at a, at a Not even just a record label, at an industry event. Yeah. You get Nowadays, me? now you're you're gonna butt people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's full of them now. Yeah, it's different. It's just very, very different. It's just, just a testament to how far the whole culture's come, though, as well. Do you get me? In, in like what ten years? It's true though, because back in the day, as you said, when you were coming out of rap, and a few other people coming out of rap, police were like on people's necks, as in like, don't do a show, 
for this person. Bro, I've been banned you know from performing in London for mm. the, my whole career. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Whereas now, the power behind people is different now because I think, as you said... The labels that, don't that, want that, the that, police messing with their that's money. That's what I'm saying. So remember, you said that was your first time on radio, mm. the fire in the booth. But generally speaking now, because they see money in rap, the record labels now would tell police, yo, 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 chill, man. This is an artist, man. Relax, man. But we that's get, what I'm saying right money. now. The street the street thing's popular. Mm. The street thing's pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those days, they wasn't. You get what I'm saying? It's just, it's transformed into that now. You couldn't fill up a, a Brixton <coughs> O2 talking about dipping, man. Because yeah. I mean, nowadays, mm. Brixton o is full and man are talking crazy yeah, yeah, on yeah. stage. And it's okay. But I feel yeah. like in your day was a bit different, though. Like, I feel like... The the these men now they talk about dipping man. Some of them are involved in it. But some, enough of them but, are not. But enough of them are not. I mm. feel like in your day, some of the men them saying they're dipping it. They really it's gonna get it. dipped to the at, at, at the concert. If a man sees someone, it's going. But off, I feel like it. you know what the difference. Hundred percent. But you know what I can say the difference between you lot and I'd say these lot. I feel like a lot of the people now making music, especially with the dipping, a lot of music is being or a lot of dipping is being done for and because of the music. So mm. that's where it's different. So with these guys, they were, these men were just making music, but there's people had their issues that they had. It yeah, had yeah. nothing to do with this music yeah, thing. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah. not like this tune is going to influence this and this is going to influence that. We had issues. Yeah, and yeah, if we yeah. bump into each other, it's this. With the music, the, what we hear with these kids now, whatever, and a lot of the music now, is a lot of it you're like, he said this, because of this, yeah. and this is going to influence this, and all is all within do, do you know the what, music, essentially. Do you know what I hear what you're saying, but I think it's a mix now. I feel like, as you said, in K's day, like, there was like, K might be rapping, and he might have issues with another block, but they're not rapping, so the issue with the police was like, ah, oh, if these men know where you're going to be, cook, so on and so forth. Whereas now I feel like every area has realised that we can make money out of this. Yeah, yeah. So we're still two areas beefing, but now we've got an artist each. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to talk about what's happened on that side. They're going to talk about what's happened on that side. And then the music now is just a representation of what's actually happened between the two gangs. Where yeah. before, you would you would only hear about it if you were involved or you might see a little... Sound, it's you know true, but you, do you know what I feel like it's different as well? I think like when Man first started out, I think like everybody... Before you could, it don't, it didn't. I don't. I think them day there didn't matter how good you was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like man, just genuinely wanted to know: Do you live what you talk yeah, about? Yeah, the crazy, <laughs> do you get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Before man's taking you in, before man even wanna hear if you're good. Stories got man wanna certain, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, yeah, I do yeah. their research. They wanna phone man in the hood. Like who's there's, there's my man? There's been a lot of men that got a pass for shit music because they were real. For sure, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. So like, I think in in that day it was that kind of culture. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel like now. I don't think Anyone people really care about if you are that person anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? I th- I th- I th- to an extent. I, th- I think in our community we do, and within our community, because you will know, like, people might be like, he's good, but he ain't really... But I feel like, as you said, the beats, the music, and the uh, um, influences is, is more important. But the problem is, I can't say problem, but we're in the UK, we're a very small minority, in it? So the people actually buying the records don't need you to be real. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just need you to hit sonically like how we want to hear you. 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? There could be an artist that is banging, but everyone in the hood might know that he's not from our bits or whatever, but we ain't got a problem with that because it is what it is. But everyone else is like, you look the part, you sound the part. That's and like I feel it. like that makes things mm. even worse now because you can have any and everyone But this is what I'm saying. saying whatever. Bro, there's, you, mm. blood, you, you know how much gangs there is now in like ends that were never known before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. get me like... Everyone's gang members now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's people that are now... And probably didn't even grow up that way. Yeah. You know people what I'm ending up in situations off the music yeah. where, you know, the fans have gassed them up, the fans have hyped it up, the fans have supported it or whatever, and you now have to live the things you say. Yeah. Essentially, because now you have people coming up to you because now you're like, okay, you know, this person's called me out and now I have to say this. Yeah. Or I have to respond to this or whatever, but you know you're not really about Yeah, this that's, the, that's the thing as well with just, you know, speaking this shit into existence. Yeah, and though. people get erratic. And I feel yeah. like back in the day, I'd say the people that were on it, for the most part, were actually on yeah, yeah, what on they were it. doing. Nowadays, I feel like you have a lot of people that are very reactionary, essentially, yeah. where they deal with, they're doing stuff in the moment. Yeah. Essentially, you know what I mean? Where you kind of get put on the spot and you have to react 
as opposed to I wanted to do this yeah. or, you know what I mean, I went out with the intention of doing this. So a lot of these kids now are being put in situations where you have to react mm. and they're doing things they don't really want to do, if it's, that makes sense. It's true mm. though, because what you're saying, there's two things I want to say about that. So it's true, like in terms of back in the day, if a madness happened between me and Kokia, if no one was there, the issue would be between me and Coke and when I see you, when I see you. Whereas if it's videoed, yeah, and then no. you, you, people can it's actually see it. It's amplified, isn't it? Bro, it's amplified to like, the, I don't even know what degree that I'm like, nah, I've got to do something because got people actually see it. Bro, you have it. to remember, I've seen the transition, innit? Yeah. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I've seen it from when it was, I was around before the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was kind of, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm man seen the transition and it's nuts. And also, yeah. and also another thing you said as well is, it's true, there's areas that like, when I was younger, that you didn't no, really know about. There was no issue in that area. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was like a, it was like a no man's land. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There might have been that area A and area C. Mm. Area B was like a safe place where like area A and C can go Just to. Slide in and slide out. Slide in and out. Whereas now, even for example, with East or whatever, there's bare areas like area B now that are just as bad as area A and mm -hmm. C. And I'm like, how has this happened? It's like, and it's like not even a big area, bro. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's one estate in this area. Got their little pocket. And it's this, area, this estate that's causing all the madness. You're mm. like, right. So now, that's why it's an interesting conversation. That is it, was it worse in your day or is it worse now? Because it seems like maybe back in the day, the man then were, that were on it were more violent about what they were doing. Whereas now there's a bigger number of youths doing yeah. petty stuff. Bro, I, bro I, I, I went country to link my bridge in one time. And I'm talking about country. Like, this is the countryside. Yeah. And um, I've linked my bridge in. I'm, I've, we've, he's got a call. Oh, there's some youths outside his yard. I'm, I'm just with my bridge in. I'm not even, I'm not even, I don't even want to be involved yeah, in nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, we, we go in it and see what's happening. We've gone there anyway. Man don't see nothing. Anyway, fucking... Blood, two two little youths have come round the corner. You get me? So my bridges approached them like, yo, like, what you, you see? You lot standing outside the yards, but the youths are like, nah, nah, some some youths are on to us and rare, rare. So like, all right, you lot good, yeah. But they, blood, when I say they're like fifteen and sixteen years old, they're young. They look like kids. One of them was tall though. You get me? But you can see his face. <laughs> you can see his face. He's a baby. You get me? Blood. Just as man's um finished chatting to the youth and about to jump in the car. Six youths, yeah, come running round the corner with the biggest zombie knives you've ever seen, bro. Jesus. Swords and that. But if we wasn't there, these youths probably would have died, bro. You get what I'm saying? And we're in the countryside, bro. This is like little white youths and that that don't grow. They, they haven't grown up like this. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's just... Oh, so, so who they chasing? Who's they chasing? The, the youths were killing. They were, they were chasing the two youths. Oh, bro. So obviously we've stopped the two youths because we thought that they was outside my brethren's yeah, house. yeah. So as we're talking to them, we realise it's not them. They're saying, oh, yeah, nah, some youths are on to us. And we're like, cool. Just as we're about to jump in the car, five youths have come running around the corner with the knives out, like swords and that, like they're, they're about to do the fucking William Wallace thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so obviously, like, we're, we're, like, right there. So obviously, man's like, yo, what the fuck? So when they've seen some big man there, they've all turned around and cut out. I had to look at the youths like, what, what are you lot doing? What, what are you, you involved really involved in? Yeah, what are you involved in? You get what I'm saying? What did you but do blood, to man, make them those youths lives? But I, I, it was for me, I just couldn't believe that I'm in the countryside. And where it's happening this, there. And it's happening there. And but, it's kids, you know. But the maddest thing is in London, boy, the difference in London is you remember they said, what the fuck you doing? Oh, they would have said, said, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, what? Get out of the way, big man. When you hear big, big man, man, get out of the way. No, that's the approach now. You know what I mean? When you hear big man, get out of the way, what they're saying to his brother... Yeah, let me chat to you. Get it as no, well. they, you. Let me chat to you quickly, big you man. Can get it as well. Yeah. And that's the problem with those kids now. Where back in the day, you had people where there's kind of this fear where you're like, it's a hierarchy in mm. a way where, you know what I mean? You know this person, we can't do this, we can't do that, yeah, we're shook at this. We're shook. Nowadays, nah, 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 nah. I, I, bro, that's why it's me, I'm not playing games with nobody, but I don't care how old you are, bro. <laughs> you, you get me? If you're moving like you're on it, you're going to get like everybody else. You know what I'm saying, bro? Well, no, 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 but, chest, no you know? but it's levels because with a lot of these kids nowadays, you don't know what they're on. You can't understand. You know what I mean? You can't, can't underestimate no these one, kids bro. or whatever. And for me, that's why with, with a lot of these situations. And that's why I'm not for these youths are just young and dumb and they don't even know what they're doing. Yeah. They're, and just, this is they're just doing it. And you could get literally just done. But, you know, you're yeah. in a situation where you're like, how the hell did I... You know, you're, bro, wherever you end up when you die, imagine you're sitting there and you're reminiscing on how you went. You're like, bro, I went Tesco. I got chefed up by some 12 year olds. Like, really? Told you when I was in um, the Tesco in Beckton. So, you know what? To answer your question, though, sorry to interrupt. Um, 
Worse it's now. hard to say what's, what's worse because right now I feel like there is a majority of like more of the youth them the, that are involved in certain fuckery. You get me? Well, it's little one off. Yeah, but where in man's day it was just gang shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it was only in those pockets of areas in London. You know what I'm saying? But it's weird though. When I was growing up, I felt like if I had a beef with someone, whatever, we would just fight. As yeah. in like, man will catch you a lot, you'll get rushed. Catch us a lot, you'll get rushed. It was more of that, like, but it, and the man them that had knives were the man them that would use the knives. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Whereas now it feels like most kids that are in the, that environment, everyone's got a knife. Yeah, but you see Bridge, it was just gun culture. Yeah, you man had the guns early. Like gun culture, North like West. that's what I'm saying, like 14 and that man's yeah. got it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like at secondary school, man's got it. Northwest, like, you man were like Wild Wild West over there. It was bro. gun culture. Guns. I feel early. like they, yeah, it was I was Trident was, Trident was, I'm, I'm sure it was started because of Northwest and because of Brixton. I thought it was those two areas. That, like, yeah, mainly. Trident was heavy in, in, in Northwest still. I feel man. like in Northwest, in terms of, the I feel there's a bit of money, a bit more money in those, and where there's a bit more money, that's where there was guns. Mm. But I feel like there was a bit more money in Northwest than a lot of the other areas first. So that's when it kind of went outwards. So you guys had You know what it was? It was a yardy see, thing over Yeah, because well. of the whole block mm. thing, it was just like a safe place to sell drugs. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, where, if a man, where the blocks were all joined together, if a man's getting chased by the helicopter, you run to bridge or drive to bridge, park your car, run in the block. And that's it. And you could get from one side of the block to the yeah, other right. side of the block and then walk out like nothing happened. Do you know what I'm saying? It was just a place where everyone was safe to yeah. do certain things because of the way the ends were set up. So I feel like... An American layout. It was like a territory thing. Do you know what I'm saying? This is why the Yardies were fighting over it. And, and then obviously we've just grew up through that. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah. It's like um, it's changed it? now though. All the blocks are yeah, gone. They, you get me? Down, yeah, they're not too few down. I remember one time when um, I was in, I was actually in Northwest, and I went out with a girl, and then I said to her, um, "I'll drop you home." Dropped her home <laughs> now. So I drove in, whatever, chilling in the car, whatever, whatever. So I'm looking. She's talking to. Her, I'm just looking at blocks. So she's like, "What's wrong?" I said, "No, nothing, nothing." She's like, where are we? <laughs> Can I wear Stonebridge? So fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, man. All right, well, listen, I've got Good to go. To because <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out of it. But that wasn't like, that was maybe like 2013, 2014. Yeah, so the blocks were less so coming. Yeah, kind of but down. it was still somewhere where I, I'd heard about. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know no one there. Nah, but don't get it twisted. Like, don't think because the blocks are gone. That That's what I'm saying. You get so. me? It's, that's not the case. Because it's, it's fucking, it's still... Heavy down there. Still, mm. things are still. But that's gone the in. problem with. So when I was moving, when I was moving house recently, when I was looking for somewhere to live, I was looking at West London, Northwest, and stuff like that, and in those different places. And what I realized is the problem with that area is there's a lot of it's nice place, nice place, nice place. That road's wild. Nice place, nice place, nice mm. place. So you know what I mean. So I had to keep calling my brothers, like, oh, what's this place yeah, like? Because yeah. you're like, you could end up in a in a really nice pot that's really close, close to, to somewhere yeah. wild. Yeah, and then you're just you're in somewhere wild. Yeah, you get what literally because you're in, even one time I sent it to Dan, bro. And Dan was like, don't go there because oh, he's like, you, he's like, you're fine if you only go that way. Yeah, you he's like, but if you ever go, go home left. that way, <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna live like that. But that's the thing with north with west and north. West, I feel like, and the way they've laid it out now, in certain places you're like, this area is wild, the rest yeah. is fine. You see the way they re rebuilt bridge, like they did it on purpose. Like the way they done it, it was deliberately built the way it is now, like to stop crime, to stop man hanging out on the block, to stop certain things going in. Because you see Wembley, yes, remember Wembley, they're trying to do it up, bro. They've done the new stadium, they got these new shopping malls, these new this and that. They're trying to bring the area up, innit? But obviously, Bridge is like right next to, to Wembley. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so it's literally that So proximity. that's why they brought it down, you know what I'm saying? But it hasn't changed much. Do you get yep. what I'm saying? It's just, it just looks different now. That's uh, so why people like, you can be fooled into thinking. It's a, you oh know, yeah, this looks cool around uh, here. It's all new, new builds <laughs> and that, you get me? But It's made of three bags of muff, bro, to be on the ropes. <laughs> like, I'm not yeah, doing peak. that. Yeah, and I thought that was, you know I mean? It was interesting to think you can be... In even like areas like Notting Hill, if you think of you know Notting Hill and, and how it is essentially, you know what I mean? houses, really you know. nice parts of Notting Hill, yeah, not so nice. Yeah, because you're, you're Notting Hill, you're right in between Grove and Mozart, yeah, and Kensal Green, <laughs> yeah. you're right. That's, that's where you are. What I'm saying, but that's these, where I was looking to live. But, but, Notting Hill, that's but, where I realized all of areas, that. You wouldn't know because, for example, that 
bank holiday, end of August, the Sunday, Monday. <laughs> Mango Carnival, it's all nice, it's life. all dancing, whatever. But even Taylor said it one time. He's like, people don't realise how many front lines they're on. Yeah. yeah. But because you're That's what I'm saying. When you're walking through Carnival, you're walking through people's enters. Bit, I love you it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Obviously, if you're from the road, then you know where you are and where you're going. But if you're not, you're walking past some ends. Do you get what I'm saying? You could end up on the wrong block and take the wrong corner and you're in a man's ends and it's, it's techie for you. Yeah, and this is it. I was like, nah. You know what I mean? I'm but good. My, everyone on my estate is banned from going carnival. Like, everyone gets letters <laughs> in the post. Like, you're not allowed to go because majority, man, got problems with people that are based in the, that area. Yeah. So for, for years, everyone gets letters through the door. If we see you there, we're going to nick you. You get me? Just for your own safety. But, but technically speaking, if every man wears a mask, for example... Like nah, don't get... Like, it's not like man's listening to the letters. Like that. Man's <laughs> going, isn't it? Man's going. No one's not listening to the letters. But I'm saying it's 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 that bad that the no, feds no. know. You get what I'm saying? If People they like, see, do yeah. not go to this place and this place and do this and yeah. that as well. But for me, it was... I think the letters are still coming as well for enough people in the ends. Like, they still come. Yeah. Well, it must, it must Bro, do you know this Bearman? Even Brixton and all of those. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah, remember yeah, they did on. that with Peckham one year, where Bearman in Peckham, where police, uh, you know, were onto them because I think they were like, oh, there was a loads, you know, where There's they were issue. like, they've got an intel on this and this yeah, is going to yeah. happen. So they literally put the squeeze. I think one year where they're talking about, you know, what I mean, all oh, hundred and this amount of people. Well, like my next. little cousin got shot in Carnival. He was fourteen years old. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A man was in, like, we was in a different place to where he was with his little. His little friends and that. A man had to drive because no ambulance would go through there because they couldn't. So we had to drive our car through the carnival, the crowd and that to pick him up, put him in the car and take him to the hospital. You get me? Jesus. Yeah. That yeah. was like 2008 or seven yeah. or one of them years there. You get me? But That's mad. Yeah. 14 years old, he got shot in carnival. In co and you know you think... In carnival, nothing. Blood. Like, I've like seen bare people get shot in carnival. I've seen it. I've seen people die in carnival. I've seen people get shot. Like, oh, like yeah. carnival is one of those places. I think it's a little bit better now. There's not too yeah, much yeah, yeah. gun crime lot. in yeah. carnival now. But before every carnival, someone got shot. Yeah. And I think it was probably more Northwest and West London kind of situations because you man was so close. It was easier for people for people local mm. to kind of have burners on them. Because if you're traveling from south to whatever, that's way too risky to be bringing something from all the way over Bro, there. Bro, I just say to... Carnival is just not a place for me. Still, it's not the place I want to be at. I'm just, I'm just super not comfortable. And if I got to go, I got to bring it with me. I don't want to be there. Yeah, yeah. you're you know like what I'm it's saying just not it's long. Carnival. Kind of, when you think about it, it was mad because. It was just all different areas converging like into one place, innit? And back in the day, the difference with Carnival now and then is you could go anywhere. Back in the day, remember before there was no like they weren't they didn't really cut off. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Carnival used to finish at like eleven PM. Like remember But then you have your little break off. Yeah, little break off yeah. things and then you'll be there. There's times when I'd miss the last train, bro. I'll be in Carnival, I'm like, shit, how am I getting home, bro? Like I've missed the last train. Whereas now, 7 p.m. Carnival's done. Mm. Like, floats are no, off. But why forever. do you think? Because of all mm. the fuckery that's been going yeah. on the years before. You and get this me? year is, 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 is probably for the best with certain yeah. things. Because after it's hours. Now, though, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it but is. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not, not the same, same experience. Anymore, bro. It's not the same, but think of, think of the kids that we have now, all of these erratic youths and whatever. If you let these kids hang out till whatever, whatever, we probably see more. Mm. Essentially, you know what I mean? Because they're going to go there. They're going to, you know, want to prove themselves, want to live up to the music. I don't know, though, man. I think, I feel like, I feel like when I was a youth, I feel like there was a lot more freedom. Yeah, fun. To, yeah. yeah, it was like, obviously, man was keeping up fuckery growing up and whatnot. But like, as a, as a youth, like man had a lot more freedom yeah. to experience life a little and bit more. Fun moments, yeah. And like, and like let your like hair even down. though man grew up in in a bad place, man had a, a lot of good times as a youth. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a, a lot of fun still. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Still, whereas now I get what you're saying. It's like you're you're trying to manage the kids, and I get it, or manage people. But in in that in itself, like the kids just won't come, and they'll just do a madness where they live. Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, do you know what I'm saying? And they're just so, exp it's everything on the internet. So back in the day when, okay, there were things people were scared of, you're scared of this person, this person, or whatever. But for the most part, you had to go outside to experience those things. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. this is going on. Nowadays, these kids are on the internet, online or whatever, man threatening you online, on the internet or whatever. And that's there, you're like, never leaving the house again, or I'm yeah. never going to this place or whatever. So 
you know, now people just being, you never even go out and experience yeah, yeah. anything. Everything you deal with is through a screen. I just think that there's not a lot of opportunities as well for the youth, though, man. It's all dead. Youth clubs are gone. But they just I lived the in a youth club as a youth, you get me? Love yeah. the youth club. Done things I would, I probably wouldn't have done without it. And the thing about youth clubs is people say it's not important. In the grand scheme of things, it might not be one of the most pressing issues because obviously there's more stuff to look at in terms of where people live, households, um, poverty, whatever. But generally speaking, youth clubs are one of the only places where you met people from other areas. So you just had to chill. Like, for example, like when there's one in Devon's Road in the East, I remember, and man from Stratford used to come to it, a uh, man from Bow, um, Lime, like all different areas used to come together. So you would have all the guys that are roughly the same age, but from different areas. Yeah, right, yeah. So I could go to Stratford, and then man would say, yo, yo, Marv, no, no, Marv, you're good, you're, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas, like, whereas now, there's a lot of segregation where like kids are just where they're living is where they're living, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So if I do go to Stratford now, I'm not going to know you. So you don't might see me like, what are you doing? It's kind of, it's, it's very different. Whereas I feel like that's what the youth club's done. It yeah. kind of taught people. And also there was always a guy in the youth club that everyone always respected. Like that kind of was able to talk to a few kids and say, listen, man. And it, 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 you might get through to a few, man. No, 100%. Some man. might not. Like I, yeah, like I said, we done the whole mixing thing, the DJ and thing through a youth club. So you that's where the me? music bug came from as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. You get me? Plus football on that playing football for the youth club, going to different ends is playing other youth clubs. Keeping you busy in that? Yeah. Because where would you have been without that? On the street, keeping up fuckery. Mm. I was going to say, so obviously, so we talk about the deal or whatever, but then you got arrested after the deal, innit? Yeah. So what happened with that? Why would why were you arrested? <coughs> like, how soon after the Rock Nation deal was So it? like, yeah, so like four months after I signed the deal, um, four months after I signed the deal, I got arrested for attempted murder. Wow. Yeah. And I was on, on remand for like eight months. Fucking four week trial. But they weren't, it was a longer trial, but halfway through I got a dismissal in it, no evidence. Wow. But imagine I got nicked on the bases, yeah. So there was this picture, a blurry picture. And um they've they've obviously gave it to local police in the area. Yeah. And two police officers have said that this picture looks like me. And I, I went to jail for that. Jesus. That's mad. A blurry picture. That two officers that wasn't at their scene or... That's the only evidence they had. And if you think of what CCTV looked like back then, yeah. what it looks like now. Yeah, you know thinking... what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. So obviously I, I went to jail like, for that. It could be him. Do you know how wild that is? My thing is, the, the reason why I don't like Ramond here yeah, is because I feel like Instead of people putting people on, obviously it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an attempted murder, so they're saying you might be a danger to the public. That's why you're on remand. Cool, but generally speaking, now you've waited eight months of your life just yeah. to, just for a dismissal. So you can't give back those eight months. What's yeah. happening with that? You yeah, what saying? is happening with that? Do you know what I'm saying? I some people. Like, you know, what it was though. You see, because I was signed to a label as well. Like everyone's just like, just be quiet about it. Let's not piss them off. Like. But they were still fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? They're still banning mm -hmm. me from performing. They're still... So obviously when I came out, obviously I beat the case, come out, like the deal was kind of still there. But the person at Sony who signed me got fired. Okay. So they they brought a whole new MD in and he started cleaning up the label. He was dropping everyone. I remember the week Essien phoned me like, yo, what, have you still got your deal? And I was I like, yeah. I remember that period of time. Yeah. Yes, when they were just, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because me and the week were on the same label, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think that, I think they must have dropped the week as well. So um, he phoned me like, and I'm like, bro, I don't I don't really know what's yeah. going on, like, cause their thing. But where I was with Rock Nation as well, that was like my pulling power. So it's like Ty Ty went in there and said to the new managing that DM like, if you're not gonna take him, I'm just gonna take him somewhere else. So obviously he wanted to go ahead with the deal, and then um, so it's like I it, like I still had my deal, yeah. I still had a chance to kind of make things happen, but it's like, yo, the feds would not leave man alone. You get me? Ban from every show. I was supposed to do wireless, J Rock Nation Day, Jay-Z, Rita Ora main stage. I was supposed to be there, you get me? And they and they, they wouldn't let me do it. The feds wouldn't let me do That's it. That's mad though, because really and truly, when you break it down, it's like, bro, like, how much security is there at wireless? Like, 
It's mad, bro. And you remember, you're going to be backstage. You're, you're going to come on the stage and off the stage. So what's the... No. So they, they wouldn't let man do that. And I think um, that was kind of... I, I was having issues with Sony as well. Because yeah. it's like, they, they're making me do stuff I was doing when I wasn't signed. Like, I could go and link SBTV. I know Jamal. I can link Jamal. And uh, I'm... Give me something I can't do yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open you know door, what I'm saying? Like, door, what, what did I it. sign for? What are you lot mm. taking a percentage for? When I'm I'm doing everything myself, do you know what I'm saying? So the whole relationship with Sony got kind of sour. Oh. Do you get what I'm saying? I just wasn't happy there. Obviously, Rock Nation, like, Ty Ty had, man, you get me? Like, and, and I respect him for that. Do you get what I'm saying? Any corner turn, but they weren't here. They're in America. They couldn't. Yeah. It was Sony's job to, to, to check for me here. Do you get what I'm saying? And... They just couldn't do it. They didn't know what to do with man. So the whole relationship just went sour. The feds wouldn't leave man alone. And so then I got nicked again. I swear. Yeah. So I remember I was telling you earlier about the feds, innit? Yeah. So I had a birthday party. And um, the feds tried to shut it down. But man knew the owner of the club. So if the owner's willing to go ahead with the the event, the feds can't really say nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, going ahead with the event. My birthday, sick event, had a little thing. <clears throat> and then a fights broke outside the, the club. But I've come out already and I'm in a shop. I can't remember. I must have went in there for like chewing gum or something. So as as I'm in the shop, one of my bridges run over like, yo, your brother's fighting. It was my little brother having a fight outside the club. Blood, I didn't even get to the crowd. By the time I got to the crowd, the feds were already there. But it's like... Get him. They're looking for you. Already. They were on me. Do you get me? But where is my birthday? And I, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. As soon as the Fed rugby tackled me, it's like the whole crowd just went up. Do you get I me? Like everyone's trying to save man kind of thing. You get me? Anyway, I managed to screech you out of the thing. And then everyone's telling me run. But I'm like, run for what? I haven't done nothing. Yeah. Anyway, I said, fuck it. Let me just let me just jog up the road and try and get away from this fuckery. Jogging up the road, jogging up the road. I'm all tired now. Man. Man's licking everything. So I'm um, okay. Still hear my bridge and saying, "Yo, they're still coming." I'm saying, "No way." <laughs> then my bridge is saying, "Yo, keep going." I'm saying, "But in the end, I just got mad. I said, "Fuck this, man. What am I running? Why? I didn't do nothing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I turn around, bro, the fucking the Fed gassed me. Oh. But, but blood, there's footage and that blood. I'm passed out on the floor. They fucked me up. Helicopters, riot feds. This was around the time when I think um, the. The one terrorist thing happened, so they was on high alert this time. What, seven seven, can't be seven. No, nah, not seven seven. I think it was the Rigsby man. Do you remember when? Oh the yeah, yeah, Woolwich. Yeah, 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 I yeah. think it was that thing. So they was on high alert because of that. Yeah, but you ain't a terrorist though. We're What's in Soho, blood. They shut down the whole of Soho for man. Blood, I got the footage. They fucked man up. Oh, it was in West End. Yeah, Soho. Oh, that's they why. They fucked man up. See the police in the, uh, yeah, the city. The... Different. So yeah, they beat me that's, down. That's yeah, why. remember I didn't. Get, I weren't in the fight. I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't hit no one. Now I'm. They, now they're trying to nick me for rioting and assault on two PCs. But I didn't hit nobody. No, they beat me down. So blood. The maddest thing was I ended up going to jail for that. But I I went for like a week. They sent me to the uh, the magistrates court because you know it's just you and the judge. Yeah, 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 There's yeah. no jury. Yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah. It's you against the feds. And the judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, the judge found man guilty. But obviously where the fucking, the case was so rigged, I got bail straight away. I got a retrial on bail straight away. Called some new solicitor. I came and fucked up the whole case for man. And I bust it again, you get me? After that, it was just like, cool. This Don't guy is way too much trouble. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's how the whole thing just went sour, man. I should have got some damages, bro. That's what I'm saying. The, the way I'm looking at the police treating damages. you, bro. The police ain't giving you nothing. Nah, but the thing is, sometimes, you know what it is? If you got the... The right solicitor, yeah, you can listen because remember, you know what? It's not just the right solicitor, it is the right solicitor, but it's peas, yeah, that's another thing. It's peas, well. you know how mm. much it costs to, to, mm. to sue the feds. You better have a 60 and then an extra 50 just in case you lose. Because yeah. if you lose, you, you gotta, gotta pay, pay their fees. fees. Mm. Yeah. Now you're like a hundred and something grand in debt yeah. for trying to get some money back for for your losses, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that's a little gold, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, trust me. And it... then, you know, they're on you even more. You think if you go against the feds and you win, now nah, they hate they're you. They're looking for you. Now nah, yeah, they're yeah, on yeah, you, yeah. you get me? Any yeah. slip up. You can't breathe. Sometimes, uh, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it was just, it, blood, it just all got a lot for me, so man. So how was that for your mental health? Because I know, obviously, that's a, that's a new, not a new term, but you know, like, people use it more. Nah, bro. In those I, days, it wasn't really Bro, used. I went into a mad form of depression. I lost my deal. 
Um, mm. Everything went sour. Mm. I think I was even I was even homeless for a little while after that. You get me? It was just er, er, everything just went sour. I just say, you know, I say, fuck music. I'm going back to the road. Uh, it was easier then, even though it it wasn't. But in my mm. head, it was easier. I didn't have to deal with all of this extra stuff that's going on how, now. How was the pressure though? Because like I feel like a lot of people were like, all right, this is a guy who's Science Rock Nation, the first guy to get a deal, and then. Remember, you're telling us the story now. Yeah. People ain't hearing that. I mean, people don't know that you've been arrested, gone jail for six months, I mean, eight months, been arrested again. They don't know that police are stopping your shows. They're just looking at it as like, this guy's got signed. And then he just gone. And he's not doing nothing. Yeah, now. yeah, So what's yeah. going on? Like, so how was that to like navigate in terms of, because you said your mental health was affected because yeah, yeah. whatever, but how was that as well? You know, like, bro, G, I'm a man still like, I just I just cut off when I'm ready to, do you know what I'm saying? I don't really give a fuck what anyone thinks. If I need to cut off, I'm just going to cut off. And I need it to cut off, so I was just... But obviously, it's not... You see, man, in it? Like, yo, Coke, mm. where's the music, dog? I'm like, I'm like, blood, you know what I'm going through? You know when they ask me about music, blood? <laughs> I'm like, I don't even want to hear it right now, bro. Trust me, man. It's the last thing I want to hear about right now, you get what I'm saying? Do you know what I think? Because rappers always talk about being it being hard and it being this and it being that. So it's kind of like when a rapper goes through hard times, you're like, well, make some more music then, bro. This is, this is what you man write about, innit? But then yeah. I, but I get what you're saying, though. The man are like, nah, bro, I was in a, a dark place. Yeah, yeah, And I just had to cut off. But I think what's key is that you didn't come from the era of social media. No. So it was easy for you to cut off because yeah, yeah, yeah. You, weren't, you weren't on the phone. But I still do it now, you get me. No, nah, because but, but, you're from that era. Yeah, where yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. guaranteed that some rappers now, if they went through what you went through, it'll be a madness because yeah, yeah. they can't put their phone down. Yeah, they yeah. need that validation yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. the people. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I hear you 100, man. But yeah, it was a it was a horrible time, man. You get me, and I'm, it was just like, all right, cool, reboot and start again. You get me? I've I've bounced back from all kinds of stuff my yeah. whole life, so it's just like, let's do it again. Yeah, let's this start again, isn't it? So when did you come out the other side? Like, when did you say to yourself, you know, I'm good now? Like, fuck this, I don't need. I no think one. it must have been at least a year or two. I, and it's not like I, I'm talking about for music. I was yeah, cool, yeah. Uh, but I was just like patterning life again. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you're blind, you know, like obviously having so much potential and getting to that space, like a lot of people change around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone cares. Then when things go sour, even that's a mental fuck. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Now I'm, now I'm sitting here watching everybody fall off. I don't even want to do nothing. I want to see the last man. You get what I'm saying? Like, who's really here for man? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I got to that stage where I'm just like, right, fuck it. Who's really here for me kind of thing? You know what I'm saying? Well, was that was that hard, though? Because you said that you're from Stonebridge. You said there was bear of you in your block, that like bear man you mm -hmm. knew. You got family. So how was it? How did you find out who was real, who was fake? Because it sounds like there was bear man there from the beginning, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, bro. You just, the, whoever's not, here through this time here, you know, it's, you get me? Mm. But when I was popping, they were, man would be waiting outside my yard for me. I couldn't get rid of man. Man are following me everywhere. Now I'm not going with nothing. I can't even get a, a return text message or mm. you're not even answering my calls, but it wasn't like that before. So that's how you differentiate who's what. Really Obviously, it. I've got some real ones. You get what yeah. I'm saying? 100%. But when you could imagine how big this thing yeah, went yeah, and yeah, how yeah. much people was on man to how it changed again you get me so i've seen all of that and even that was a mental fuck for man you get me and then it's sad you know yeah, but it is, it is what it's, it is it's live, it but, is but, what it is but it's sad though because so many people have the same story yeah that like when they got famous there were people around them like bear yes people but, but, but I'm saying everybody in every even you and you you're all gonna come across that as well Yep. Everybody and him, everybody in all walks of life is going to come across those kind of situations. Do you get what I'm saying? You're going to be going in, lots of people going to want to be around you. Sometimes you're going to have a hard time and no one's oh, not really, the same you, people bro. are not going to no, be around one, you. But your one is, is different because it's amplified. Yeah, like, yeah it's like, everyone, amplified Everyone will sure. have it, but your one was like, I can imagine the degree. Yeah. Because there was a point in time when like your name was ringing bare bells. And remember the UK was... It was a very small scene, innit? Yeah, yeah. And you were one of the first in that scene to to your name to transcend the scene. So I can imagine how people must have been bred in. No, hundred like, percent. Even yo. rappers and that. You get me? Rappers, yeah. all of it. So 
But so for me, but where where I've come from and how man's lived and all the things that man's got through, I just I just cut and go through, learn every lesson and and keep it moving. You get me? Yep. Cause yeah, with people <laughs> in life, you really get to know who people are in your worst. And you know what, dog? I still I I, I still take it as a blessing, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, I'd probably still have a bag of the wrong people around me. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And God knows where. I would be now yeah. if if I didn't get rid of those people. You know what I mean? And people don't even realise. Remember the, M, the uh, attempted M charge? It could have been a wrongful conviction, bro. You could still be inside now. 100%. So there's bare man in jail that ain't done it. 100%. And they're, they're inside. Because technically speaking, if they believe you're from a certain area, like I, I don't care what anyone says. Judges prejudge. So a judge 100%. will see your paper and see Stonebridge, see maybe some people you're affiliated bro, with. It wasn't me. But I'm telling you, they made me feel like... It might like, be you. It, like, yeah, like they're making me feel like raw. That, like, am I gonna end up going to jail for a sixteen or a fifteen or a, yeah. like at the like? I'm starting to feel like that. You get me? You know when you're going for bail, bail denied, bail denied. I'm thinking, blood. How is this even possible? You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it was a, it was a sticky time, man. Like, sticky yeah, time. but like I said, I guess the beauty is coming out on the other side. Hundred percent, you know, of everything, and then thinking, you know, what I mean, I just want to focus, and I just want to, you know, what I mean, just stay away from no, hundred percent that shit. And like you said, there's nothing better than separating yourself from certain types of people, yeah, because you never know who those people are until you're in that situation, and you're like, I'm glad that person is not around, or that group of people, or yeah, that yeah. energy, super, super growing in as well. You get me, like man, done yeah. super growing. You get me. And yeah, life can force you to grow sometimes. You know that fast track yeah. where, like you said, you find yourself in jail. You're in jail for this amount of time and you're like, I don't want to be here mm. ever again. Essentially, mm. you know what I mean? We were speaking about having kids and this and that. Yeah, earlier, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you have your kids to worry about. You have this and you're like, I don't ever want to find myself yeah. in that situation. Because yeah, yeah. it's probably, you know what I mean? Being in a situation like that now would be so different to how it was back then because now you have way more responsibilities yeah, yeah. and all of those but, things. like that's what i'm saying having said that fucking what like three years ago i was in jail again you get me sure. serious fucking I, I, it, it, this you just done the mad thing as well i, I made this album in the youth studio mm -hmm. and arguments happened but not between me between the engineer and the guy now the youth's locked the studio and he's holding my album for ransom. Oh. Big man, I just want my things. Just give me my things. And you lot can do whatever you're doing. I just want my stuff. Mm. The man wants money. He's talking, I'm <laughs> like, I just want my stuff. Anyway, man's ended up having to go get the album. The youth's got punched up on the way out. And he's just snitched. He's basically told the feds we tried to stab him, which is not true. And I was I ended up doing five months on remand for that, like three years ago. Jesus. Five months on remand for that for an album that I made. You get me? Three months for that. Then I come out, COVID, tag for 17 months. In the end, I just had to fucking say, fuck it, man. I plead guilty to assault. You just get me? I took a plea deal done. Yeah. So because COVID's not a bad time to be on tag. I, 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 <laughs> no, no, I was going to say to you, bro. That nah, you it was probably worse times to be on tag. 100%. You picked the best time to be on tag, bro. Because we were all on tag with you. And to be fair, <laughs> I've probably, probably done some of my hardest work during that time. Yeah. Like that 17 months, I come out of jail up until I took the plea. But like that whole 17 months, mm. man, just done hella work. You get me? Like I was in my zone. I made like three albums. I swear. Yeah. So it's like it was a good thing as well. You get me? So, so now you're acting now as well. So yeah. We spoke about the jungle. So now you, you've got the acting bug now. Yeah. You know, moment. I just got offered another role still. I swear. I remember yeah. he was, um, Jay was saying that um, people have been asking to represent some of the people from jungle yeah, in terms yeah. of acting. So you've got... Yeah, someone one. offered me something else as well, man. So That's incredible, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It was just a sick experience, you know. I never thought I'd I'd act. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I even turned, back, turned down a... Um, I turned down a, a role before, mm. like, years and years ago for Top Boy. 
I didn't like how how the role was. You get me? The youth was getting punched up and napped and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. I was like, that can't be me, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I turned down the role, but so I reckon I, I think now that now doing it and it's like I'll definitely be open to to playing with it a bit more. Do you get me? Like, but the thing is, I hear what you're saying, but I feel like what you've said is important though because I feel like someone's role can determine how you view them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, like it's different if they're a certain way and then they take an L in the show, but they bounce back. So now Do you, know you what I'm said saying? that. But if they're like an, a chief or idiot, yeah. if you're not an idiot in real life, some people actually think you're an idiot. Bro, bro so imagine I've gone into one chicken shop near my studio, gone into the chicken shop, bare school kids in there. But none of them really, none of them know that I'm, I'm K Coke, innit? Yeah. But they, you know, the kids are looking at you, they're like, they're like, oh, you're you're in the um the jungle thing, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, one of the girls like, oh, I, I don't like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's I was just acting, but she's looking at me like I was really <laughs> that's what I'm saying, I bro. was really my man, you get no, no. me? That's a good ass role. You know what I yeah, mean? You yeah. played it well when yeah, you yeah. really But like she's really feeling like that was me in real life, you get me? Like, oh, I don't like you. You're you're a fuckery, you get me? I'm that's like, what I'm saying, but you that's the signs of you played that role very well. Nah, 100%. And people can really dislike you. Like Joffrey from Game of Thrones. Uh, what's his name from Power? Tariq from Power. You don't know people you look at in real life and you think... Pe- but people think Tariq's actually an arsehole. In real yeah, life. yeah. And it's like, bro, this is... He played, cool. Yeah, but he has that face though. You know, mm. even when you see him in real life, he just has that look on his face that yeah. you could be that person. So he has that look mm. about him. <laughs> like, you just see him like that person, but he's played the role so well yeah, yeah. that you actually believe... But, but, he, but people do actually think that your role is the real person yeah, when yeah, they yeah, see yeah. you on road. Especially, you especially saying? when you do it well, though. Yeah, yeah, when you do a role well and people buy into it, like for example, like your role in Jungle, like but sometimes it's, it's weird. Like you can get a, a body that you like sometimes. Yeah. Like, for example, Kano, like in Top Boy, he's a bad guy, but you kind of like, like him though. Him, like yeah, you don't yeah. want nothing bad to happen to him. Same yeah. thing with um Asha D, Ashley Waters. So like same thing. There's certain people that although their characters bad. You're like, you know what? I like this guy. And there's yeah, certain yeah. characters that are bad, and you're like, I want, I want people to die immediately. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, so it's kind of weird how I just think works. that right now I'm more open to it. Still, I'll definitely probably take a role that I wouldn't have before. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you get me? Like the whole experience of filming and being on set and just no, yeah, no. it was just so dope, man. Do you think that you would do a role in terms of like completely different, as in like, I don't know. If detective. someone said to you, detective or like a, a teacher of a class or... It, it depends still. I, I I don't, I wouldn't say no to anything right now. I just, I'd have to assess it and, and, and go through it. And if it makes sense... Do you do the whole acting class thing now or you haven't... No, nah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't never took an acting class in my life, dog. I've just got to Man, so they're man. getting what they're getting out here, you get Bro, me? to be fair, the whole jungle thing was so easy because it was just a freestyle thing. Like, mm. obviously they gave me a rough guideline on what I've, I had to say and how I had to be and then I could just do it in my way kind yeah. of thing. So it was really easy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't have to change much or... But because you write music... It's easy, not, I can't say easy, but it might, it might, it might have been, it's like a way of transferring, isn't it? Yeah. They're like, you're freestyling, you're acting role, the same way you would freestyle Do you know what music. I'm saying? And, and you, man's, you know man's comfortable well. in front of the mm. camera as well, because man's been filming for ages. Yeah, so. yeah. And you got the lingo, you know, like, you've been around. Yeah. Like, you're 30 in terms of where you're from, in terms of how the life you've lived. So, someone to need to act it out is like, you acting out something you've done every day. Yeah. So you know it's, it, yeah, people know it's coming from a real place, you get me? You could tell, so yeah, I definitely fucking looking to to maybe do something else. You get me? That's dope. That you got another role though. Yeah.